Hello mods, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play video. Now, I wanted to make something clear. As you can probably kind of tell with the buttons and whatnot, I am playing on the PlayStation 4 edition. So a little bit of things are going to be a little awkward for me because like the controls are pretty much the same as Xbox One when you, pretty much. But um, this, yeah, pretty much the same because uh, two of the biggest consoles ever as of right now, obviously, and they're pretty much like against each other, Xbox versus PS4. We all know the old argument and whatnot, but I'm more of a, not, I don't, I'm not a part of like PS4 versus Xbox One arguments. I just play on Xbox One because, well, that's the one I got first and I stuck with that one because, well, there was no really need to change, even though I do love blue. Uh, more than green I well I just stuck with it just because that was the main thing but there are a couple changes as in there are a lot newer stuff because officially now mites Minecraft hat on the ps4 has changed and there's no more updates to it anymore and well kind of they had the Minecraft ps4 edition and they have the Minecraft Bedrock Edition for PS4. That's right, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PS4 can all play on the Bedrock Engine together. And um, But today, we are going to be doing some things on the uh, Minecraft PS4 Edition. Now, there are still quite a new things like we don't have in the old Xbox One Edition or Wii U. Stuff like kelp, um, certain new blocks like the walls and whatnot, well, certain types of walls and whatnot. We don't have stuff like Heart of the Sea, we don't have sweet berries or dried kelp. We all know that Xbox One compared to the Bedrock is pretty outdated at this point, even though I still use it because I still love it. But don't worry, this video will compensate for the Xbox One edition and any old ones, as you can see. So quickly, I'm gonna go over everything. So likewise, you can see that I have updated because a couple of comments have actually told me that my videos are nice, but they're not that helpful sometimes. Like two people in particular, and this isn't, this isn't to put it on the spot or have like a, a rage kind of debate or anything like that. It's just in general that I, I like criticism. It helps me make things a little bit better and more efficient for my videos so that way you guys can all like it. In turn, there are two people, mostly Minecraft user, um, who said not who commented on my first one? I'm pretty sure on episode 25 of Texture Pack Tools. Not helpful video, sorry, bro. And that's pretty much what he said. And I just actually replied, What would make it helpful? As another comment by the name of Ben Khalifa uh, said, It would be helpful to show common builder materials such as wood logs, cobblestone, etc. And maybe a village or natural terrain. And he also said that on episode 25. So, I took the advice a little bit, and I'm not going to show villages and whatnot, because I'd rather people explore on their own, because I don't want my videos to be too, too long. Which is why I'm showing you all this. So, as you can see, we have some dirt, some stone and cobblestone, well, the types of dirt. We have anisai right? and, uh, what's the other one? Granite? We also have all the types of sand, wood, uh, miscellaneous blocks, all the types of stone variants, blocks um, from different like from different like seasons and temperatures, from hot to cold to warm water or hot water, however you want to say. Some extra blocks, some other things that probably could have gone next to the doors. Um, pretty much the ores, some other vegetable or non-vegetable natural blocks. A lot of colors in the rainbow and the extras that start with it and other miscellaneous water type blocks such as um, the coral. Some of the um, advancements that are in Minecraft such as ladders of transportation and minecarts. All of the types of different armor stands and what you can put on those armor stands. Chests to everything that can hold items, to making and cook items, to crafting items, to magical, to just weird. And we also do have, of course, the natural um, two liquids. I would say three, but you can't place milk down, which also, Minecraft, maybe you should add that. Just saying. 
because it's delicious. But um, we also have water and lava. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, not every, not the my uh, original favorite version of Xbox One. Obviously, does it have some of these things like the shell or the trident or the bell and whatnot? But this is pretty much a guide for every version. Nearly. It has most of the blocks for every version, at least, because Minecraft is updating, and it's gonna keep on updating, and don't worry, I will eventually play Bedrock on my official Minecraft series and whatnot, but um, that's for f the future to hold. So for now, we're gonna get right into the texture pack right now. Alright, Marts, I am back, and as you can see, we are going to be using another texture pack, as obviously the episode shows, but the texture pack we are using is known as the Super Cute Texture Pack. Now, I heard of it a little bit, but I never, ever, ever really played on it, and honestly, from the way it looks, it kind of reminds me of um, the, the cartoon texture pack, honestly, but we're going to see. So, as you can see, the grass is changing quite a bit, and it's raining. I'm pretty... Did, didn't I turn off weather? Oh no, I turned off daylight. Um, is there a way to... Let me just... Oh, oh wait. Sorry, Mark. So let me just uh, quickly do this. There we go. So we don't need to worry about the weather. So as we can see, we have all the types of grass variants. And it looks like... Um... Ugh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. It's going to be hard. It looks like mycelium has turned into a lighter shade of purple magenta. And also that pulso and coarse dirt has changed a little bit as well. Stone and um, cobblestone seem to be about the same, but the um, granite, andesite, and diora, if I can find them, yep, these four blocks and these two are pretty are prettier. Now, as we can see, that diora is a nice shade of light blue and a little bit of blue. We have um, over here this, uh, what is it? The andesite to a cyan green, and granite seems to have a bit of a pinkish tinge as well. We also have sand and red sand, which um, seems to be like a sandy, the sand color, yes, normal sand-ish. But um, red sand seems to be a bit more pink, if you ask me. Now, we have all the types of wood as well. And as you can see, they have all changed quite a bit. And I have to say, I really love it. We can see like they kind of have nails in the details, kind of like they were literally brought it to the ground. I like that a lot. We can also see that, um, so this is spruce, um, oak, spruce, birch, I'm pretty sure this is, um, jungle, which actually looks like a lime green ish yellow, similar to the floor, actually, um, more well, to the grass in general, which is actually pretty cool, maybe some camouflage, you can kind of do like that, especially since it's the, the, it still has a brown exterior, um, like the brown layer of the actual bark, which could actually be used as dirt or grass camouflage, really nice. You also have, um, which one was it? It was dark oak and acacia wood. It was, um, dark oak and acacia. Now, I love dark oak, even though I never really built out of it that much, but I have to say, I am loving the fact that it's blue, so maybe you can actually use this extra pack if you want to, like, kind of, like, pretend you're painting your house. By the way, Minecraft should really add paint, maybe? question mark it depends how they're really gonna go with the game but if there is a mod or something like that which i'm pretty sure there are mods are all over the place in minecraft this is actually the second closest you could probably get to because i gotta say i love dark oak and now that it's blue it's really nice and acacia from an orangey gray is now blue a light blue as well although that kind of looks the same actually but it's different and a pink so that's pretty nice we also see clay, obsidian, and bedrock. Bedrock, I gotta say, looks amazing. Um, as a blue, I really love bedrock. It's actually one of my favorite blocks as well in the game. Obsidian looks amazing too. The types of stone variants as well as the mossy stone look pretty nice too. And now here we are. So the reason why I have ice in the chest is because, well, um, it melts. Unfortunately, it melts. Let me just get a bucket if I can uh, find an empty bucket. There we go. Right there, so you can see the difference. Boop. Now we have ice and all the different types of ice, including um, packed ice, blue ice. And we also do have all the hot theme blocks as well. Let me just make sure this doesn't melt. We have um, glowstone, netherrack. Um, we also do have um, soul stand. We also have um, the water theme blocks, which are ocean lantern, prismarine, dark prismarine, etc. We also do have the squishy and jumpy slime block as well as the netherrack block. And here we are now, continuing with the wood side. 
we have a bunch of doors, which also are painted as well. And, oop, I just slipped on the ice. But I have to actually say, real quick, this block, uh, this is uh, one of the water ones. Which one is this? This is Dark Prismarine. It, it does keep, like, the um, the cubic shape as well. Well, obviously, they're all cubes. The um the Rubik's Cubic shape, like, three, three, and three, and whatnot. Like, three squared or three cubed in this case. But I like the fact that it's, like, a dark purple. Well, pinkish purple, in a sense. It depends how you look at it. But um, I gotta say, I really like that block. And uh, the Prismarine Lantern, I gotta say, looks really nice with the blue. From like a cyan to a bluish, like this color to this color. And it's still kind of glowing, which is really nice. But now to the doors, which they also do change colors just like the wood. But they also do have little designs in it. They have a heart, a star, some more hearts, some more stars. And the iron door is practically the closest that you're getting to real Minecraft. Because it still has the general uh, shape. Four squares in the middle. Now we have the orbs. Now we have coal, iron, lapis, gold, redstone, diamond, emerald, as well as quartz ore. And we have all the different variants. As you can see, they are pretty much all the same block, except for quartz, which is just like kind of like a white block in a sense. And everything else, which is basically like a shiny gem looking one, all with different colors. We also have sponge, all the melons and pumpkin variants as well on the other side. Um, <laughs> that's such a tiny face compared to like the giant hole and mouth of regular Minecraft. Also, it looks very, very kawaii as some people say, I'm pretty sure. Uh, looks very, very cute. I'm pretty sure Kawaii-chan from Aphmau would very much love this. You also have all the uh, mushroom theme blocks, like the red mushroom, the brown mushroom, and the stem and the actual block in general. Now, here we are to the colorful side, aka the rainbow side as I call it, the rainbow section. We have, <laughs> oh wow, that's like a little, that's like a little bunny, pink bunny plush, and uh, I, think, I don't know, it's like, like a sun with two eyes maybe? How does the sun look actually? Let me see, what's the sun? What's the sun? Come on, how do you, oh there it is, it's just really, it's just that the sky is so much brighter in a sense too. The sun actually looks uh, like a more of a cartoony sun with like the little um, sunbeams like making that kind of starry shape. But as well, we can see all the different ones. They now have polka dots and you can sleep with a plushie, which is pretty adorable. We also have wool, concrete, um, glass. Um, we also do have shulker boxes and whatnot. Oops. Um, let's pretend that uh, didn't happen because uh, I guess I, <laughs> I guess I accidentally did it add to uh, quite a couple of them unfortunately let me just uh quickly change that uh where is it where is it there we go nope and there we are all right so as you can see all the shulker boxes actually have oh come on really they all practically look the same on each side like some blocks as you can see they all actually do open the same pretty nice and uh, but they all do at the top apparently have like actually kind of looks like a cake when you look at it on the side, it actually kind of looks like a cheesecake. My favorite cake, actually. We have all the stars on a shulker box. Pretty nice um, for, like, um, uh, reminds me of Steven Universe. But a uh, really nice decorative touch. You also have all the others, like wool, uh, terracotta, designed terracotta, which is, uh, which, what's that one called again? Uh, glazed terracotta. All the colors, as you can see right there. And I gotta say, if you look at it like this, it's very, very colorful. As well as the original terracotta and the shulker box, the original one. You also do have the Illager banner, which is pretty much the same. And all the other banners look the same as well. Now we have all the coral blocks, which, um, it, it still looks pretty corally, if you, corally, if you ask me. I'm not even sure if that's a real word, but uh, nonetheless, look really nice. The tracks look very, very vibrant and, like, neon green with the grass. This actually looks really neon green rather than just green. The ladder looks sort of like the, it kind of reminds me of the cartoon texture pack we reviewed quite a while back. Like, you can see, like, it's kind of built together as well like that, like, not exactly straight, a little crooked. But now we're getting to one of my favorite sections, the armor and weapon section. You have the normal armor stand holding um, a crossbow and a shield right there. You also do have the armor, which kind of looks like a bear. Is that a bear? Uh, I No, I think that's a duck or penguin. I'm going to say that's a duck. <laughs> you also do have, um, which is obviously a panda bear. I think a chicken, a bumblebee, and a fish? Is that a fish? A lizard? I honestly have no idea, but it is pretty cool. It's like you can dress up for Halloween. The bumblebee is pretty obvious, though. And the koala is, um, it's pretty obvious, too. You also have all the types of swords. 
in it, which actually kind of look like, they kind of look like pickaxes. Like this, the iron sword looks like a pickaxe. The uh, diamond sword looks like a hoe. The golden sword looks like a sword, more, more or less. The stone sword looks like a shovel, and the wooden sword looks like a pickaxe as well. What's going on with the tools here? I, I, uh, well, the swords mostly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what's that about. You also do have the turtle shell, which is, um... I want to say that's a penguin. I'm pretty sure that one's a penguin, right? Yeah, that's a penguin. That's pretty nice. As well as holding the trident, aka a giant pink fork. And you also have the normal bow with the elytra, which is kind of like a little, little angel wings, which is actually pretty nice. And here you have it. You also have the last section that we are going to get to right now. You have a normal chest right there. Pretty nice in the way... Although it doesn't look like you can really put stuff in it besides like maybe a couple shapes. You also, <laughs> you also do have um, the end of chest right there with a little like face as well. Pretty nice and two little eyes in a way. And you have the barrel which looks uh, pretty nice. Like a barrel got a nice paint job in a sense, like for art class, very vibrant. The uh, um the oven, <laughs> the furnace now looks like a proper oven. The blast furnace as well looks like a um uh, an oven as well. And uh, pretty much they all look like different types of oven. This looks like it actually kind of has a microwave in it, the smoker. And the campfire as well, which actually looks a little, uh, I don't know, is it me or the fire looks a little kind of, I don't know, glitchy? In a sense? Or is that just maybe how it is in this texture pack? I have no idea. Honestly, the coals beneath actually looks really, really cool. But nonetheless, it kind of it looks very, very nice. Next up, we have a crafting table. Very nice. You can see all your different sections. And uh, bread <laughs> looks like a, a bear. Pretty cool. Bread bear. <laughs> uh, fun F reference there or fan made. I don't know. A cartography table. You also do have the fletching table and smithing table, which don't have anything in the version right here. You also have the banner maker, this, um, the stone cutter, and uh, the grindstone. And, of course, the anvil, which looks like it's made out of pure diamond. And in that case, I gotta say, that is way tougher than iron. Seriously, what do they make that out of? We also do have the enchantment table. Very, very nice. I especially love the, the pink and the blue. And uh, the orangey brown bottom does um, complement it. The brewing stand. The beacon, which does look very, very nice as well. I think I actually did play in this one, maybe once. Sort of. I don't think all of this... Yeah, some of these are pretty much the same, it looks like. Um, the conduit, which isn't activated, unfortunately. But um, it kind of looks like a... Not a Rubik's Cube, but like one of those take apart and put back together toys. Sort of. We also have the eye of ender uh, placement. And, uh, well, portal framing. And we then have the... Uh, what is this? The, um, the spawner... Like the, the mob spawners in general. And now we come to the final section. You have the you have pretty much the normal cauldron. Then you also do have what is this called? The again, the composter. We have a bell, which looks very, very happy. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like an, it looks like the emoji face. And then we have a jukebox and a note block. And the final two water and lava which together make obsidian and that's why you don't break it like that because water is too fast while lava is not that uh not that fast all right let me just put that back but there you go mites there is the super cute texture pack now unfortunately i will not be able to do two texture packs at a time i'm very very sorry i'll try to get maybe a couple more every now and then like out in the middle of the week like after i upload after like after I upload my original like three videos every single time Maybe in the middle of a week or a hiatus I'll upload another video just to make sure we can maybe kind of keep up the pace if you guys want that Let me know if I can make any improvements in the future as well Would you like to see maybe all of them although? I'm not exactly sure if I'm up to that that would take a, a while honestly I basically these the video purpose is to show you the main like exciting blocks that the majority of people use as well and yes i know people are very centered in their builds but the enjoy in the majority is is to give you a glimpse of all the really really great blocks like the ores the armor the majority of the stuff the wood and, and coal and all that kind of stuff and stone you're really going to use so let me know is there anything else you want me to add maybe to the collection would you like to see all the items should i include stuff like all the other tools the arrows food 
just let me know in the comments below and I promise I listen. I listen to all of you, whether it's good or bad feedback, so I can prove my videos for you all. But that's enough for now. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys!